G'day everybody and welcome back for some more Stationeers as we attempt not to starve and we rely fully upon Black Shadow and her... Who's your friend you're carrying? Is that me? TFE or is that you? You staring into your own cold dead eyes. Yep, it's my assistant. Ah, good. Uh, Nev, you're keeping an eye on her, right? Uh, well... <laughs> Um, <laughs> hmm. I know I know it's a big task to keep an eye on the person talking to a skull, but um, someone's got to do it. Hey, got to keep saying somehow. <laughs> yes. Uh, who else needs to come outside? Wait, uh, everyone, go. presumably. Yep. Well, who else is going to come in the, the airlock this cycle? Uh, actually, I need some food, so I'll stay in here. Uh, everyone's got their helmets closed. Have I got mine shut? Looks like it. Looks fine. Once you do. Yay! I didn't need the to be reminded. The skull doesn't have its helmet closed. Uh, mm -hmm. don't worry. It's, uh, it's fine. So, Shadow, what do you need for the extra hydroponics base so that we can make you a whole truckload of them? Ask me again in five minutes. Uh, okay. I don't know. Uh, TFE? Mm-hmm. Are you still being Mr. Diggy Diggy Hole Dwarf Boy? Uh, pretty much. <laughs> cool. Well, Technical well, term? tallest dwarf, but anyway. Yeah. Um. Well, I mean, we're all kind of the same height. Uh, because I was going to try and make some Stellite so that we could make some large station batteries. Um, which requires silver, silicon, and cobalt. Yep. So I'm trapped in the greenhouse again. Oh, is... Why? Oh, we <sighs> loaded the game and it might be yep. broken again? Yeah. There you go. Do you I'll remember how to fix it, it in a second. Okay, cool. Well, Thank you. Basically, I just disconnected some of the wires and connected them again. Okay. <laughs> Turn it off and on again. Um, That's cool much. IT solution. Uh, Splits, could you do me a favor? Could you smelt up a bunch of iron for me? Uh, Yes, I probably can do that. Purge, purge, purge. This isn't Warhammer 40,000. I must purge the chamber. I also keep finding coal when I'm not looking for it. I mean, it's got the same two letters of what you look as what you're looking for. It's true. What? I thought he was looking for cobalt. He is. Cobalt's cobalt. coal. Cobalt has all the same letters as coal. Power low. Yeah, but the first two letters are the same. It was a new greenhouse. I, I realize it also stars. has the other two. How does Capac spell coal if he thinks there's a B in it? Uh, cobalt is coal, but with tuberculosis, I guess. <laughs> uh, Shadow, how much iron do you want? Yes. So okay. basically, I need uh, 10 iron for a tray? Oh. I think. In trying to explore to find cobalt, I've managed to walk all the way back to base. How have I even done that? Well, if you find more iron as well, TFE, that'll be wanted yeah might as well drop the stuff I've got wanted. uh shadow there's like 400 grams of iron in the ingots I think okay what pressure 10 megapascals at 1.8 oh it's too cold dang it all right I have to set this up again oh, I have to get this quite oh I have to get this quite precise okay so I almost have 27 hydrophonics Hydrophonics? Or uh, phonics? I, I don't know. Hydro <laughs> stuff. Plant oh, are beds. They, are, they plant, are they plant things that sing to them? Yes. Sing them while they water them. Singing water. Alright. I think maybe one-ish megapascals should burn hot enough and get the pressures right. I hope. Oh, oh right. I remember what I did last time. I did make some extra storage one, one, as well. One, one. For components and such. Yeah. Sure Stellite! Even noticed. We have Stellite. How much pressure did you need? Uh, 10 megapascals, but I needed 1800 Kelvin. Ah, so very hot. Yeah. Now I need some silicon and some steel. Ooh. It is toasty and high pressure in there. Yeah, never figured if I made some 
large station batteries, we could operate the coal generator and fill them up and then we'll be pretty comfortable for a while. But it's not like we are having power problems so far. Well, I walked out of, when I walked out of the greenhouse, we were at half power on our battery, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to just make this more certain. Yeah, sure, it's fine. One battery kit large coming up. Uh, eventually, I also want to play with some of the other energy producers, like maybe uh, one of those gas pressure thingies. I've never used it. I think it's Sterling yeah. Engine, it's called. Oh, the Sterling it's engine. That's a interesting thermal engine. That's not a gas ah, pressure thermal. one. Yeah, it's thermal. But there was also a thermal uh, gas pressure one, I think. There is a, yeah, the, that's a turbine. Oh, um, lots of things to play around with for power. Yeah. But yeah, the Sterling engine's weird. It's really hard to set up an optimal system for it. Slash, I find it really hard to set up a system for it. Yeah, if only really... Uh, read about it in theory, so never used, so I figured maybe it's a chance to try it, but yeah, we will see. <clears throat> first food. Yes, first food. Um, what is a shoot flip-flop splitter? What? Yes. Um. Uh, so, a flip-flop <laughs> splitter splits, sho shoves stuff first to one side, then the other, then the, uh, then the original, then the other, then the original, yeah. then the other, and it goes back and forth. So it basically allows you to split something in half. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I thought it had something to do with actual flip-flops. Well, because it's, it's flip-flopping back and forth. I meant, like, the shoes. Oh, right. No, this is a Kiwi game. It'd be uh, Jandals. Jandals? What? I've never heard that before. <laughs> Seriously. Like but flip-flop is a logic term, so you will find that in, in these things. Jan is a Dutch name. What did Jan no, Jandal do? Jandal. J A N D L E. Like Vandal, but with a J. Yeah, J A N yeah. is a Dutch name. Yeah, Jan. Or Jan. Yeah. Or Jan. Oh, wow, you actually pronounce it right. Oh, that's possible. Awesome. Hey, just because I'm Australian doesn't mean I can only speak English terribly. I'm just and surprised sometimes. that you speak Dutch. As well, in, not just a you Dutch can thing. pronounce something Dutch. Isn't it the same in German? Well, it might be, actually. Uh oh. You know that dumb thing I did previously? Which one? Which one? <laughs> uh, the one where I wandered off without a tracking thing for my tablet. Really? Oh. I've done that again. You need to make splits well in advanced tablets so you can keep the uh, tracking thing in there. Yeah, I might do that. <laughs> Since I'm the one making all the weird and wonderful alloys, I may just make myself that because I think it's going to be really annoying to have to come keep coming to find me. What uh, do you have in your suits that you just don't keep the tracking thing in there? What? Well, I don't know. Um, can someone come find me, please? You don't know what you I have in your own so. spacesuit. That's probably the problem. Well, I don't... If you I actually just... looked at what you were carrying around... You're not you that far away from the base. No, I'm not, but I don't know how to f get Hello, back to base. Caution. Why do you throw an empty can when you consume the last bit of the suit? Because you don't eat the can. Do such a thing. Yeah, but throwing it on the ground? Why not? It's full of delicious tin. Catpack is littering? Mm. Whoa! What? No, I, I ate one and I put it in the cabinet. I might have slightly just um, run off the edge of a mountain. Um, it's fine. So, TFE, are you coming toward me? Yep. Okay. You're only about 130 meters away from the base. Oh, good. That's a lot better than the 2Ks I was away last time I said this. Yeah. Especially since I've only got 15% power on my battery. So many partially filled water bottles. Oh, I see, um, for lack of a better word, your drill spray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just trying to collect some iron so I can make up another batch of steel. Hello. Hello. Uh, if you're going in there, Shadow, can you turn on the cooling pipe? I think it's like 90 degrees in there now. Uh, 90? <laughs> Toasty. Which way is home, TFE? Oh, there it is. I can uh, see the tanks. Don't mind yeah. me. You can keep mining if you want. Uh, I've got I've got ten percent suit power as yeah. well. It's ninety three degrees Celsius in here. What did you do? I put some of the hot CO two in there. Some. Uh, you may have to put up better cooling. He's jumping faster than running. It's more fun. Oh, don't fall into the pit. Uh. <laughs> or maybe make a cooling room. Maybe. 
through which we can put a bunch of pipes so we can balance the temperature before gases go into upper rooms. Well, how much excess power do we actually have? Well, the battery is already full again and you didn't run the machine, did you? No, just no, solar. No, I didn't. That's just the solar. So, the big battery... So we should... could probably get away with actually running an air conditioner to keep a stable temperature. So, how, how uh... quick is it cooling down, Shadow? It is currently at 73 and it's uh... going down to 72. So, uh... do you want me to make you a few more radiators for the cooling pipe so that you can cool it more rapidly? Sure. So, if I, if I make you up, say, three more and you put them along the back wall... So they get all three of those cubes as well. Yeah. Wait, we can make a basketball? Yeah. Sure, why not? Hoop too. Hmm. To entertain ourselves. Well, who needs a basketball if you have TFE skulls to throw? <laughs> That's 50 degrees, 54 now. It's definitely going down. It's coming down at a decent rate, actually. Yeah. We have a few more of those. And once, once still... you've got enough gas in there, it's not really going to... Like, it's not going to go up quickly like it did with the adding of the hot gases. No, no, of course. It's... You just have to... Well, it's manual control, which is sort of bugging me, but yeah. Yeah, that's... I will, we will see when your big battery is ready how it's much energy we actually... <laughs> progression, Nev. You start with the basic manual control and then you... Upgrade. Yeah, now. but we already had manual control in the first room, so time for uh, better. <laughs> I wanted steel there. We're making steel sheets. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. hydration's getting a bit low. Well, I just undid a bunch of work. What happened? I accidentally deconstructed part of the floor. Oh, no. oh Shadow. No. What have you done? Uh, just depressurize that oh. whole room and it has to be done all over again. Uh, well, well, you wanted to do something better, right? <laughs> uh, How does the atmosphere in there look now? We have I, contaminants. I dare outside. not look. It'll be outside atmosphere. Yeah, we. It's completely oh, reset. Yeah. Although it is still mostly carbon dioxide. Yeah, well, but it's five percent X. It's way too much. We have to filter that oh. again. I'll get the portable air conditioner. Or, uh... Portable filter. Yeah. Oh, that is so aggravating that the wrench is the same thing you need to deconstruct the floor as well. Yeah, that happened to me. Oh, I didn't fix the airlock yet, did I? Oh, did oh, I just that, kill us? That same thing happened to me earlier, except I did it on the outside somewhere here, and not inside where it's pressurized. Shadow, I don't think you've killed us, no. I think... You might okay. have killed us if we actually had plants already growing, yeah. but we didn't get, so... <laughs> because we didn't yet have that. I think it just means that you're about to get a third pair of hands to help you in there. Oh, dear. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Many hands make light work. But also more chances of failure. <laughs> well, more people to blame, I guess. It is fun to blame Spitzy. That's true. So what is in here? Nos... All right. Oh, I've already forgotten what this color coding system is supposed to mean. With the ores. Is the red going in? Is that iron? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, Shadow, did you bring the cleaner, air cleaner thing in there? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. I'll go collect it for you if you like. Also, uh, yeah, that would be great. So, are we getting it from the upper thing? Or? Yeah, we'll just use the portable one. Okay. Uh, but I need to bring it into the airlock without deconstructing it. Do -do -do. Somehow got that through the doors without dying. Come back solution is to pull everything out of the mining backpacks, apparently. Uh, this backpack is full. Ah. Battery can use some replacements. Okay. Hand drilled required to deconstruct it, right? Alright, I deconstructed the air scrubber, so it's now empty, which means I can bring it inside. Oh, good timing, Shadow. <laughs> you jumped in just as I hit the door. Mm-hmm. Pollutant. No. Oxide. And where'd the battery go? Battery this side. Uh, temperature is still going down. Yeah. 
It should do, because I added the extra um, radiators. I turned off the valve. Oh, it'll still... Because it's still going to equalize with what's in the pipe in here. Uh, uh. Hey, it's a bit of a delay. Yeah, there would, there'll always be a bit of lag. Because the that temperature in the know. pipe is up to one degree Celsius. So we'll probably equalize somewhere pretty cool, which is ideal because then Nev can add some more gas in here from the from his system. Because we're down to 43 kilopascals, so we can take a little bit more. Now we're going for yeah, scrubbing. We, we want to be above 50, I think, was the rule. Uh, we're down to 1.2% X, so we've undone this really quickly, Shadow. You've managed to get the thing back in quick enough that you've kept most of the gas in here. Good work. Thank you. As in, no need to beat yourself up so much. You sounded really, really annoyed with yourself. Yeah, a, a little oh. bit. It's just a very dumb mistake to make, and it, it, yeah. You made it at the right time. Because you didn't, you didn't, <laughs> as Nev said, you didn't do it when we were already had these things planted. Yeah, but that would have been annoying. What this highlights is don't plant the last seed. Mm hmm. So saying we like uh, a seed we bank need to... buried underground. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need a toxic gas filter. Why is that? Because uh, oh. I got bad stuff in my suit. Oh, how did you do that? How? How? We've got like every filter except those. Yeah, but that's because no one has those in their suit. Make it at the Atmos printer, Kamak. You can make the basic ones. You were just at the Atmos printer. I'll keep an eye on the pollutants inside of the greenhouse. Yeah, it seems like the plant, the greenhouse is safe enough for plants now. If Nev, did you want to? Uh, well, what if is you the minimal need some more pressure. Plants? It takes like uh, half a second of turning on this filter machine, and the pressure spikes in there. So, okay. Um, well, shadow's in there. <laughs> uh, Do you want to give it a go? Shadow, are you looking at the atmosphere? What? Yeah. Should I be scared? Do I need a whole nah. suit? Nah. <laughs> You'll be okay. Oh, where have we not? Oh, oh, 53? Uh, 45? 42? 41? I'm about to pass out. 39? Oh, did you make the filter come back? I put it in my suit, but for some reason my unconsciousness is still going up. Come on, pressurize. Is your consciousness going up, Capac? Nope. But I opened your suit. It says unconscious oxygen and stun percentage. Let's see what you read that. My showing. consciousness is not changing. You have oxygen in your canister. You have CO2 filter. You have a pollutant filter. But filter is I'm in the environment, so the filters shouldn't matter. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I know. I'm just also checking your suit while I was here. Uh. I heard weird noises. I flushed your suit. I need smelling salts. Apparently. Uh. I don't know why you're not waking up. He's on strike. Also, you're. Uh, my health is going down. I don't. I don't know what to do. I've opened up your suit. No, take it off. Uh, Are you injured? This is unconscious and low oxygen. I don't know how to assess you more. I don't know, can you use a medicine on me or something? I don't have any. I used mine on me and my lungs are still badly injured. I should have one in my suit. Uh, unless I already used it. I don't remember. No, you don't, you don't have one. Has anyone got any thoughts of what I could do for Kapak? He doesn't have a tablet. He's currently unconscious. I'm guessing killing him isn't really a solution. No, TFA, that is not a solution. New skull, new skull, new skull. The atmosphere in here is breathable. So is he completely exposed to the air? Yeah, I've taken his suit and his helmet off. Taken everything out. Um... Is he starving by chance as well? No, I just ate and drank. Hmm. I don't know how to assess him for that. 
But it, it wasn't giving me like a you've been damaged or anything. Oh. Uh, I'm back in and my unconsciousness is going down. Oh, good. Uh, do you still have other status symbols? Unconscious, current health, oxygen supply, and stun oxygen, percentage. Oxygen supply should probably not be a thing. Well, oxygen's... Oh, no. I'm back up to 200% unconscious. What? What's going on? It's saying on? the atmosphere I'm breathing is causing damage to my lungs. There's the tiniest bit of nitrous oxide in here. That's it. The rest of it's fine. Uh. And I'm breathing it right now and I'm not taking damage. What the? What? Oh. oh. <laughs> Apparently going into the airlock does that. Um... Uh -huh. Is it getting any better or is it still getting worse? Nope. Still at maximum unconscious. 30%. Shadow keeps kicking you around. Oh, the, sorry. I'm just ready to refill the water bottles. I should just wait to get that skull. One of us. One of us. Oh, my, my water just went up for max. My food's at 85%. So can I say be that guy who's been in a coma for 10 years? <laughs> <laughs> I've been nursing him. I don't understand what's wrong. He'll wake up and the planet will be green. Could you maybe check what's inside of his oxygen thing? It was just oxygen. I checked it earlier. Hmm. Um... What? You are inside a slot. That's odd. <laughs> it's because Shadow's holding you up. You're about to die, though. Because apparently... Yep. Unless... Three. Two. Oh. One. Come back, Lily. Right. My head's fallen Can't off anyway. It. Zero? Oh, no. I don't know. There you the go. Dump. Now you're dead. <laughs> now you're dead. Well, sorry, Capac. I tried everything I know. Well, try harder. Too late now. Oh, yeah. That does not look right. Uh, Apparently, I broke my neck at some point. <laughs> uh, so what do you want to grow? Everything. Potatoes and tomatoes. Potato or tomato? Anything else? Uh, I, those are the easiest things for us to cook, so that's what you want to start with, and you want to propagate and get more of them as quickly as you can. Uh, I think you might have some potatoes grown to pick. He's going to put one seed back. Whoa, there go the seeds. Whoa! Yay, we have a large station battery. Very good. And by some miracle, I made exactly the right number of heavy cables to put it in. <laughs> Huzzah. Let's see how much power the coal generator makes from this 10 coal or whatever was left in its input. <laughs> uh, how much power does a large battery store compared to the small one? I'm not sure numbers wise. My memory was quite a lot more. Do you want to throw some more coal in? Oh no, it's still running. Yeah, it's still running. And I was curious to see how far it charges up in the next solar cycle. So maybe don't overcharge this with coal just now. Yeah, yeah. Especially since that's kind of setting us back the on the for... atmosphere. Uh, oh yeah, I guess. We're killing the environment now. <laughs> well, we're at 49.5% pollutant. Uh, there were like 20 coal, I think, in there still. And we already made like two bubbles on the battery. What's this? Oh, that's the furnace kit. I don't need that. Why am I carrying the furnace kit around with me? That is a very good question. Okay, a better atmospheric system. Where would I start? Um, so what I thought I would do is maybe start with Capac and TFE and we'll start designing where our actual base will be because then we can start putting down like an atmospheric system for a proper base because obviously this greenhouse and stuff here is all still fairly temporary unless you guys want to just keep growing from this or do you want to try and build something fresh with some of the more proper ideas in it yeah, I think we could keep the existing structure as the farms 
even if we decide to have a different one later, um, which uses like the automatic hydroponics, uh, I think this one will be in service long enough that it's probably a good idea to make it less maintenance for the atmosphere. Okay, fair enough. We can always have make to it come bigger back anyway. and, and check the atmosphere so it doesn't overheat, it doesn't yeah, get too yeah. cold or whatever. That's just annoying. It will take it. Fortunately, you've got plenty of time for that because with all of that uh, pollutant in the coolant system, it will take a long time for the pr temperature to raise just because of the plants and the sun. Yeah. There's a lot of capacitance oh. there. Go in and check what it's actually at now. Um, right. Well, what I might do... Tiffy, what are you up to? Eh, uh, still mining. Well... Got like 200 and something iron on my person at the moment. What do I need to get some fancy goggles? Sensor lenses. Steel, silicon, and inconel. What do I need to make inconel? Gold, steel, and nickel. All right. We should have plenty of all of those. Oh, uh, we don't have plenty of steel. Ah, but you right. might have collected the parts I need to make steel. I'm going to find out. Oh, boy. What's up, boy? No wonder it was taking so long. What was taking so long? I went down in the, the huge mine we've been digging next to the base, and I decided that I was just going to dig out from where I was and make a new entrance to the surface. And I... <laughs> And it felt like it was taking quite a while, and I came out halfway up the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So, is there anything for me to do right now? Is there anything you want to do? Oh, it's more like I basically need to wait on the plants to grow. So, I know what I can do. Honestly, I'm a little course. bit in the same boat. I think anyone unsure with what of what to do needs to mine. We need so yeah. much more stuff. Um, 223 iron well, coming back. Pick a hole and fall in it. Oh, uh, how are we? How are we going towards some better suit batteries? Uh the nuclear batteries. I haven't started working toward them yet. Um. I'm working on the ore detector because that'll be really useful f for us to have. And then, uh, yeah, I should work. I'll work on some. I uh, need Inconel and Astroloy. It's all the fancy stuff. Yeah, I'm making some Inconel at the moment. It will certainly help my uh, mining skills. <laughs> I'm not sure what it's called. Oh. That's right. This one's the bugger of a pressure. 23.5 megapascals to 24 megapascals of pressure. Precision is required. Yes. Everybody get away from the base. It's when you about do to have uh, <laughs> the volume pump on the advanced furnace uh, so you can carefully reduce pressure at least. Yeah, it is easier. Oh, I should have made 50 grams of steel. Ugh. All right. Fine. We're going to do it this way. Going to make a lot of inconel. Uh, so I need 200 gold and 100 nickel. Go. Almost there. 23.34. Ink it out. Oh, yeah. Alright, TFE, I'm going to make you some sensor lenses. Ooh. Slash. Give me special powers? Uh, yeah. You can see through rock. Yeah, to see neat. what the rock is made of. You can shoot concussive beams out of your eyeballs. No, you can't. But only when you're charged up by the power of the sun. Uh-oh. What? There's nothing wrong with me. Yeah. You seem to be missing uh, most of your body parts except for your <laughs> head. What? <laughs> That's how you look before the crash. Am I wearing my glasses, though? Yes. Well, at least that's something. Is this thing supposed to be glowing might, like no. this? What thing is supposed to be glowing? This machine over here. Advanced furnace? Yes, yes, the furnace it's is meant furnace. to be glowing. It's not operating at the moment, though, is it? It's, it's got hot gas inside. If it's glowing, yeah. it's heated up. But yeah, it's, yeah. it's glowing a bit weirdly. Yeah, not, it's like a yeah, weird it's, specular... Yeah, there's a specularness on some weird surfaces of it. Yeah. But it is operating as 
proper. And only from some That's angles. Does it I have saw like it. a viewing window like the normal one? I don't think so. No, but it does have that weird glow. It's all fine. Stop stressing. It's fine. No, I refuse. Yes, because we've had no problems with the furnaces before. Yeah, but, 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 we've had there, no but... problem with my furnace. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Sorry, had to do that. Couldn't resist. I think the biggest, the most likely problem with the furnace setup I've got is that I'll blow up the uh, exhaust system. Well, the big tank can carry a lot of gas. It can. We're only at 1.2 megapascals, so... It's still well, quite a ways. more than I expected. I mean, it is at what temperature? The temperature inside it is 273 Celsius. So it's it's fairly hot. Oh yeah, uh, but yeah. 280 now. Yeah, because yeah, I'm just off-gassing the furnace because I need to cook some more stuff. Shadow, did you make a plant sampler? I, I was looking no. at it in the menu. What does it do? Don't know. Sounded interesting, though. Plant sampler. The plant sampler allows you to take a gene sample of a growing plant. The sampler can then be placed in the plant genetic analyzer to attain and interpret the results. Plant genetic analyzer. Once processed, the genetic information of the sample plant can be viewed by clicking on the search button. Uh... What, it like gives you more lore? <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, plants have genes in this game? Yes. Oh, so they also relative... have genes oh. in real life. <laughs> it's a relatively recent addition. You can make nonsense with that. Yeah, so what this does, I think that you can selectively breed the best plants that have the widest growing thresholds. Yes, you can. Huh, cool. I feel like my job just got a whole bunch more complicated. <laughs> Accurate. And fun? But how, ex <laughs> how expensive is the, the analysis machine? <laughs> it's probably expensive. So we're... I'm not... I'm focusing on one expensive thing at a time because the materials we're collecting are still not as uh, prolific as we might desire. Mm. And the lenses will be useful for that. Yes, I'm sorting that out as we speak. Uh, electro printer battery. What do I need for the nu the big old nuclear power cell? Steel, Inconel, and Astroloy. Where have I left the Astroloy? Did I make Astroloy? I didn't make Astroloy. Where have I left the Inconel? In Peru. Inconel. Steel. All right, so I'm just going to make some Astroloy now. And then I can make some fancy big batteries. And I've already made the glasses. I've made two pairs of glasses. And I'll make some big batteries for everyone's suits and for the glasses because the glasses chew through power like nobody's business. And then we probably need more power on the base because we'll end up using it all up. Steel, copper, and cobalt. I need more cobalt to make the astroloy. I swear it is impossible to find cobalt. Uh, I have 35 on me and I'm mining some up at the moment. Start. Hey, uh, TFE. Mm hmm. Uh, see these glasses here? Ooh, sensor lenses. Grab them. They're yours. Yep. Hey. Pop them in your glasses slot and come get one of the. May as well just use one of the little batteries for now. Just put my regular glasses away. You had regular glasses? Yeah. Why? Because it's Dutch. <laughs> okay. All right. So now, if you turn them on, uh, once I put the battery in, you'll uh... see a whole bunch of ores around you. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. So, as you might also notice, that your power is going down very quickly. Not really. Has it not already dropped a few percent? Mm, the it's only dropped one percent. The sensor the lenses battery yeah oh two percent you've got you've got them on and you can see all the ores yeah they're on i can see the ores the mine's, already, mine's already dropped down to 89 percent. have you got the large battery or did you get a regular battery oh uh, i got a large battery apparently. yeah put the little one in there so that we've got large ones spare for people's suits the the glasses have their own battery right they don't use suit they do, power? yes so you want to you want to turn it on have a quick scan around turn it off 
You don't want to leave them on all the time. Uh, I'm going to go out looking for cobalt. I'm going to take one of these empty mine backpacks. But yeah, TFE, can you see how awesome these goggles are now? Mm. And once we've got a bigger power supply at home so that we can all have lots of nuclear power cells charged up, um, we can then use a nuclear cell in these and then they last long enough that you can kind of leave them running. Capac, did you want to have a look at maybe making some upright wind turbines? Uh, okay. Or at least making one or seeing what's needed for that? Because it might be interesting to see whether we get a decent amount of power from them or not because I'm not sure we do or don't. Because uh, I think they're great when you have a storm, but we haven't been hit by any storms yet. Copper, steel, electrum, concertant, solder, stellite, and inconel. What about the regular ones? There are there are non. That's the big fancy one. There's another one. That's the upright one. There are. I thought there the were. There was other a one cheaper one. Is all of those same things? They look like they're at the same price. I swear, there's another one. I'll have I'll have a look when I get back. Yeah, I just see those two. Yep. I, I'm not doubting you. I'm just thinking it's under another name. There are so many wind partial stacks. We can do a wind turbine wind lighthouse. Turbine. Copper, steel, and electrum. Oh. TFE, did you manage to find any uh, cobalt? Yep. I'm mining it now. Cool. Turns out a lot and easier when you basically have x-ray vision. Isn't it? Um, that's why I want to up the power out uh, power output so that everyone can operate these, but they're just so power hungry. It didn't feel right to make a whole bunch of them, and it also didn't feel right to put a, a high power battery in it just now. Ah, more cobalt. There we go. I need like a solar panel on the back of my suit to power it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that would... Yeah, 10. <laughs> exactly. Carbag remembers how much these cost to run. Oh, wow. Um... Most of these plants look very well grown. Oh yeah? One of which has already created two potatoes. Nice. That actually Should goes I a lot better if the wait? atmosphere is perfect. Uh, can you check yeah. on the atmosphere for me? Temperature, pressure. 21 degrees Celsius and 73 kilopascals yeah. with 238 moles of CO2. Sounds perfect. So should I harvest these potatoes to replant or should I keep them growing for a little bit more? Um, I'm guessing if they're showing two, that's all they grow. So I'd harvest them and replant them. Okay. Whoa, oh, it just Maybe. grew in front of me. I am half tempted to actually oh. get these portable hydroponics or hydroponics into the other greenhouse. Oh. Um, you can try to, but it might be better off just making a, making some new ones, some more of the regular ones and just ditching the portable ones altogether. Yeah, that's a fair point. So should I place some hydroponics into the old greenhouse as well, or...? I don't think so. I think just focus on one greenhouse being set up properly. I don't know. Okay. What do you reckon, Nev? Yeah, I think we should just focus on the new greenhouse and the old one can be our living space for the time being. Yeah, like eventually, eventually my preference is actually not to have a ideal greenhouse just because it's so much more convenient being able to walk from your living space to your food space without having to put your helmet on. Uh, Everybody seems to be missing some body parts. Yeah, you too. So. <laughs> you wearing pink glasses? Yes, I am. <laughs> nice. You're all just hallucinating. Everybody's bodies look fine. I mean, you have been hanging out with Mr. School, so... So it's the person who somehow couldn't see the giant fireball. Yeah. So who do we think's crazy? You? You were the only one who didn't see it. Yeah, I think I you agree. all got... You all got the same crazy juice. Well, maybe Splitsy you are guys. driving us crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the monsters who don't stack ores up to 50 in each slot. Mm -hmm. How could they do such a thing? It's you, isn't it, TFA? Hmm? I'm just chucking it into the backpack. I'm not looking to see how it's stacked. It's doing it automatically. No, it's not. It's not? No. No, so it is TV. <laughs> you what? monster. Kappa, 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 kappa. I really want to start making something of a home here. And I don't feel like I'm going to be able to. For a while. Optimism. Oh. 
I mean, if the food production takes off now and we have plenty of resources, well, we can start looking into what we actually want to make. Make a nice wooden dining table. Did we decide to go into the mountain or what was the plan? I forget. Put a lighthouse on the hill. I kind of prefer... I prefer... Uh, there is there are some advantages to going underground in that you can then expand the areas without needing to build walls and roofs and stuff. But then the downside is you're a mole person. Yes, yeah, so you've and done that a lot before. <laughs> and nope. the other downside is if we accidentally mine too far, we pop out and we mess the atmosphere in the space that we're in. Plus it just looks cooler from the outside if you're above the surface. Can do, yeah. Alternatively, what we can do is stick out the side of the mountain and go inside it. What, now the other side? No, just into mm. it. Just tunnel out the and entire then, mountain. <laughs> and then on top, we can make the terraforming tower. Yeah. Ooh, I like this idea. So I was thinking, like, we have where it's good for a greenhouse and where it's good for our living quarters. We have, like, a a tunnel coming out and make it all glass and open so we can get all our light and then it goes inside and then we have all our machinery inside the mountain we have a terraforming lighthouse and where do we keep the arkan stone uh probably in the giant underground tanks that we make out of steel that aren't for all of the pollutant that we're going to have to dump out of the atmosphere that's probably going to be more than we can fit in these giant tanks because what i'm thinking is we could make big underground storage that's just... Water. Well, soon we will be able to pressurize it to the point that it becomes liquid, but it'd have to be the low enough temperature for it as well. So we, we sh soon should be able to get liquid uh, pollutant. Toxin critical. Oh, no. What? No, TFA's just poisoned the air in here. Again. Hey. Huh? What? <sighs> TFE, you cancelled the depressurize. Ow. I thought I pressed it once. I think the filtration system is still hooked up. So it should fix itself, but it might take a while. I'm poisoned. Because oh, I not, had my suit open. It's not actually hooked up anymore. No. Uh oh. Is this where Spitzy dies? It. Yeah, TFE might well have murdered me. Oh, you might well have murdered me, because I'm going to die first soon. <laughs> no, you murdered yourself! That's what I said. Mm. Well, maybe if you two were just up goofing off, we wouldn't have these problems. Uh, okay. All right. I'm not dying now. Plants probably are not happy about it. it will be fine. The other greenhouse has is all clear up, right? Yeah, you can take the scrubber back if you're talking yeah, about that. Yeah, I bring the scrubber back. Otherwise, TFE is gonna die of dehydration. The other greenhouse also has a fully installed scrubber now so ah oh, good we should probably get a fully installed scrubber here too i'm just deconstructing a filtration unit that's not in use anymore so i could put it over there did i somehow manage to like select it twice basically when i went to open the door <laughs> yeah i'm uniquely talented <laughs> if that's what you want to call it and hopefully the air in here shortly will be breathable again so I realized what I did wrong when I was I kept dying there. I very quickly clicked, I thought, close helmet, lock helmet. Except I must have misclicked and I only clicked lost, uh, lock helmet. So I'd locked my helmet open. <laughs> so I kept breathing the small amount of pollutant. Ah. And we're almost down to breathable in here again. So TFE, if you just check the atmospherics in there before you open your helmet to drink, you should be fine. Yep. Uh, I already did. Oh, you already did? You already done it? Okay. Yeah, I was fine. As long as you didn't do it for too long, I guess. Oh, I'm trying to tunnel out from under here and I keep running into the underside of the base. <laughs> okay, I have a suggestion. We build our base where we haven't drilled massive tunnels everywhere that are going to make yeah, any possibly. sort of underground base near impossible. So we travel quite a bit. <laughs> Well, we just pick a nearby hill. Like the, has have people been drilling into that mountain? Capac has, hasn't he? Yep, I think yeah. guy might have been as well. 
Yeah, because I, th I do think that you guys have made such a mess of the terrain around here. We're basically going to be like building on an old coal mine. And we're going to have all sorts of issues with... Like, there'll be no point building underground because underground is already so honeycombed it's just a complete mess. Uh, but yeah, we can we can work on that later. We can pick a site and we can start constructing it and move things as a group, that sort of stuff. How many splits you need suit repair? Yeah. Uh, um. Yeah, Shadow? What's wrong? The water bottle filler is currently flashing an error. Uh, oh, Nev was playing with pipes oh, around there, so maybe that's why. I played with air pipes, not with water pipes. Is there still water in there? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, have, the plants, have the plants had all the water? Apparently the water pipe is empty. Yep. Is, uh, is it empty in the greenhouse? Uh, let me check. Ooh. Yep. That's it. I mean, okay. there should be a whole bunch of ice. Uh, I'm getting some. Three, two, one, the base might explode. Um, Kaboom! Oh, why? Because <laughs> uh, I had to ignite a lot of gas to get up to 30 megapascals pressure. Oh, no explosion? No. Not yet, anyway. At least I'm a sort of safe distance away. Alright, I have 100 grams of astroloy. Are we rich? I'll take it. Uh, I'm going to start putting some of this gas out. Because this is getting too dangerous precious. Okay. What else should I make? <laughs> what else should I smelt? It's probably a whole bunch of iron. Uh, quick question regarding the plant HP. It's a red bar how much health they have left? Yes. Or... Yeah, the ice is just about to die. Um, can you... Do they, uh, is any of it harvestable as it is? Nope. Wait, what so do you we're losing all the What rice. do you need to make it not yep. die? And we've lost all the other plants already. The potatoes and tomatoes are fine. It's the rice that is dying. What is it oh, missing? Oh, it's really... It's missing water, water, but we don't have water because we... we oh. That's literally what we've been talking about. Can you use bottles? Um, maybe? I don't know how to... I don't know that you can empty out bottles into the pipe system. I, I honestly... Can you, like, manually water the plants? <laughs> no. That <laughs> seems like a... water at them. It seems like a chronic oversight. A chronic one? Yes. What, it's, lingering. It, it's it's about to result in all our food dying, so it seems pretty chronic. How is that chronic? Chronic means long term. <laughs> yeah, long term we'll all die from lack of food. <laughs> oh, these our spots are okay. Yeah, the plants are happy again. Of course, oh, we good. lost the rice. Really need to be careful with the water. Maybe actually put in a small tank. This ore sorting system is so messed up. It is. Ow! How? Just... It's not even a sorting system, it's just a dumping system right now. I think that's what I'm gonna fix next. This is getting out of hand. What's with the... What's with the corn on this side? Could harvest it for like three corn, at least the one is already gone. The corn is current, barely growing... Oh yeah, this one's harvestable. The tomatoes aren't. Ah, uh, but... Shadow, if you want, there's five rice seeds if you want to plant them. Because there were six rice seeds uh, in there. Or another try it, rice. Uh, oh, right. Rice went wrong, didn't it? Maybe just half of them. Yeah. Yeah, that was the water Maybe problem. we just go hard on potatoes because they seem to grow the fastest. Yeah, we should we should go hard on potatoes, definitely. Yeah, you can also just eat them very easily. Just microwave them and you have, like, a baked potato. Yeah. Um, Shadow, did you want to put a locker in the greenhouse so that you can put all the seeds in the one that you're actually growing from, rather than keeping them all in sure. here? That's something I can uh, do. Also, uh, take these. They're on the floor. Oh, thank you. I was bringing them out for you, and then I realized that maybe a locker would be better, eh? So, I was going to make better batteries. Let's go and do that. Um, also, regarding the smelting of iron, is that safe for people who are not knowledgeable in the furnace to do? Um, we can have a crash course for people. Yeah. Once, once you've uh, done your... I've got a bunch of iron smelted there that you can use to get your lockers. Once I've done these batteries and I'm getting them charged up, uh, maybe I'll give a crash course for everybody. 
Well, we can do a little. We can do a little team building exercise of furnacing. Could we set up a basic system so that we can like auto feed like iron into the furnace? Uh, that is a very complex task. Well, yes and no. Well, Depends if you yeah, want to use it, the same furnace or a different one. Well, okay, so should we set up a second furnace so that we can have one that's just doing iron and then we can just have a system set up so that we can dump iron in it and it'll auto-feed it? We we just don't need that much iron. Like, it what? can produce so you, much so quickly. You spent most of tonight saying how important, how much iron we need and we always need more iron. And yes. then you're saying, we don't need that it much iron. True. That's, a, no, that's no. crazy. Why are you talking but about you can that we need iron? If we... We also need iron, but normal normal iron you can just smelt like five hundred in one go, and it takes yeah, seconds. it's super easy. So we, we don't, don't need it. Oh, for that. Again. <laughs> we don't need a full system for it. The parents so, are arguing again. <laughs> and you guys wonder why I enjoy the company of a school. <laughs> wow. Um, On the plus side, I have already made three nuclear batteries. Dude. What I like when they was... eventually drain the ba base of all power, um, we will be able to put them in our suits. Oh. Or, in my case, in the um, sensor goggles. <laughs> we might want to. If, Nev, if you want to, we probably want another decent battery charger. I was thinking if there is an, an even better one, but apparently not. But yeah, yeah, I can I can replace a tiny one with another large one. Yeah. Uh, these nuclear batteries take forever to charge. They're basically the same as a station small battery. Yeah, they're like like eighty percent of the station battery. It's a lot of power. You can realistically uh, put it into one into the APC, and you have like another battery. <laughs> yeah. Ow! Oh. <laughs> uh, well, I didn't notice you because I had my suit light. You didn't notice me. That doesn't make it sound better. You didn't notice a person in the airlock. What are you doing? Oh, airlock <sighs> shenanigans. Fine, get in. You press the button. I was going to say, we don't want to pre uh, press the button twice and cancel depressurize again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Who just killed the power to the base? Oh, huh? Power to the base? Uh, I was eating soup, so it wasn't me. We just, we Oops. just had a power outage. Wait, oh, all the batteries. Please don't tell me I am now stuck in an airlock. Is it because the nuclear batteries <laughs> are, have removed all the power from no, the system? No, the bat battery know. chargers are limited in how much power they can use. That's a charger, <gasps> Neff. Oh. Daters. So we probably want two decent ones rather than the rubbish one. Do you want to? Should we? Do you want to put up three battery chargers, or do you think two will be enough? I think two should be fine. I mean, it's, like it's not going to hurt to have extras. But, yeah. Well, um, yeah, actually, you're right. Ten batteries should be plenty. I have wonderful news. The potatoes have grown. Hooray! Yay! We have how doubled many, the amount of potatoes. How many potatoes do we have now? Ten. Ten plants are growing. How about the or tomatoes? 11, how are actually. they going? Uh, they're thriving, but very slow. Right. But isn't it like they grow and then they keep producing, or is it? I don't know. They cycle through the stage. It changed so much over time. We just have to find yeah, that they've... out. <laughs> um, the base keeps losing power. But how? Is it because all the batteries in the battery charger all try to charge at the same time? I, I, I will. I will I th check. I in think. A second. I think we're drawing too much for this um transformer. But it's set to five k. Oh, I will. I will find out. Oh, it's so annoying printing off cables when the power keeps cutting out. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. Well, they just no keep sense shutting off. Me. So, are we putting both battery things over here, Nev? Yeah. Both together should cap out the transformer. We just can't connect yep. anything else to it. Nothing gives that nice, warm, home, comfortable feeling like a blinking red radioactive battery. Don't worry, there's no uranium in there. Huh. Why is this not glowing? But I didn't put this back to front, did I? Yeah, that says input. Input is on the side of the dial. Yeah, I... Why it's is it glowing? You turn it on. 
Mm. Yeah, it should be glowing if it's on. Ah, you have to set the the power. Oh, it is set. I to... did. Hmm. I'm so confused. No, it's glowing. It's only glowing if the actual power is flowing. Oh right, we gotta then turn these on. Turned on the. Better. Yeah. Are both connected? Thanks. Cool. Yeah, they're connected. Cool. That's working. That's a that's a big step forward. <laughs> Go into those batteries. Once those bad boys are charged up, we'll be in a very good position. If. What do you mean, if? We'll be well, in a good everything could power. explode. Yeah. <laughs> they are as far as our base go. They're almost as far as our base goes away from the furnace. So there's at least that going for it. <laughs> That's true. Oh, oh no, what? Where? Toxin where did my suit go? What happened? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Oh. We have corn. Hooray. Uh, should I... What should I do with the corn? Uh, I don't know what can be done with the corn. Why don't you see Tortillas. if you can figure it out? Popcorn. Is that just in the microwave? I'd assume so. Uh, there's cooked corn. A high nutrient cooked food which can be canned in the automated oven or microwave. Just one corn. Oh, make sure you nixtamalize the corn first. Yes, it is important to do so. Otherwise, we can't digest it properly. Did I just void the corn? What? What? Huh? Oh? So I put it in the microwave and it vanished? Ah. You didn't put in the correct amount. You gotta check oh. the recipe and get it exactly right. Otherwise, it'll d destroy your stuff. What? Yeah, I... <sighs> That's not how microwaves are supposed to work. <laughs> microwaves are magic, don't you know? They're nuclear. So, corn used in microwave. Hmm. Yeah, it Does was it actually one say here? corn. Like, I accidentally put in corn? two and I tried oh, to Oh, if you put in it. two, then yeah, that then it did it. Yeah. You need just one. If you put in two, it'll... So you cannot safely remove it either. Uh, once you've started cooking it, no. You can, you'd can. you have to remove it and split the stack. Makes cooked corn. You... Yeah, the thing is, I tried to remove it out of the microwave before starting the recipe, and that made it vanish. Oh. Like, you can clear it, and that just removes it, apparently. According to the station PD, it says just one corn makes one corn. Yeah, Shadow put two in. Yep. Yeah, I put two in on accident, so I tried to remove it, and then it vanished. I guess you can't make two corn at the same time? No, you can't. Well, that's, that's a, bit a learning silly. experience. Yeah. It's finicky, and you have to be exact with these things, otherwise it doesn't work. And it'll be even worse once you've got to add oils and things uh -huh. like that to get your recipes to work right. So the person who's the chef is probably using more brain power than the person doing the furnace. Just like real life. <laughs> uh, Shadow, would you like me to teach you how to make iron? Yes, please. Big furnace. Also, we are doing this now. <laughs> well, I'll teach Shadow. Uh, what's happening with all the lockers? Uh, ah. Work in progress. Okay, so let's grab grab a few stacks of iron. You didn't make another transformer, stuff. did you? I did not. No, no, I will do it. Then. I can teach Shadow about the furnace. Yep. Alright, so Shadow, are you over here? Where'd you go? There you go. It's hard in the dark. Um, so what we've got here is a pair of fuel lines running towards the furnace. In the white line, we have oxygen, so we can see how much is in there. And in the pink line, we have volatiles. Then we have a gas mixer here, which mixes them at a ratio of two to one, two volatiles to one oxygen, which means they should burn cleanly, or as cleanly as we can. And then that mixture is put into this red pipe for danger. Mm -hmm. If you're having trouble igniting the furnace it may be that this red pipe is empty which is why i thought i'd start with showing you it if you need to fill it you can turn the mixer on by pressing on the arrows and we can make more fuel mix and that is just one button but multiple icons yes okay. yeah so yeah. we come over to our furnace the icons tell you the direction the stuff flows so okay so on the furnace you can see if you mouse over the google symbol It'll say the chamber pressure <laughs> and chamber temperature. You mean the valve. 
Or the gauge? The gauge, yeah. Visible. The Google gauge. So currently it's saying a pressure of 9.6 megapascals and a temperature of 493 Kelvin. If you press oh. F1 and type in iron, you can then find the ingot and see that to smelt iron in the advanced furnace, you need a pressure of between 100 kilopascals and 100 megapascals and a temperature above 800 Kelvin. Basic ingots are very forgiving. Yeah. Okay. So we're too low in temperature for this to work. Yeah? Yeah. So what we want to do is get rid of the gas in this chamber so we can then put new fuel in, ignite it, and get it super hot. Because if we don't get rid of the gas first, we're adding fuel to an already cooler gas, mis gas mix, and that ends up with a bit of a muddled mess of gases and you're not burning the fuel as efficiently. You can do okay. that if you need very high pressure. You can. It's it's not desirable, though. It's better to it avoid it. It doesn't matter for iron. No. It's not so desirable. what you want to do to empty out the chamber is if you have a look at these symbols below, you can see that the top dial is pushing gas out and the bottom dial is pushing gas in. Does that make sense? Yeah. The symbology so out there? of machine, into machine. So what we want to do is increase the gas flow out of the machine to empty the chamber. Do you want to do that? So how far should I do it? Just wait till the chamber's empty. It goes up to 100 uh, liters per second. Speed! And then when this is mostly emptied, you want to turn that back off. Otherwise, you'll be throwing fuel mix straight through into the uh, waste tank, which might end up explosive. Ooh. Ooh. Sounds fun. Uh, I don't want to have to rebuild this. <laughs> Fair. Also, apparently I can repair you. My suit is damaged. I am going to replace it with a hard suit at some point soon. All right, we're okay. below one kilopascal, so you can probably turn off the outgassing. Cool. Now, we want to ignite this to get up to a decent pressure and a decent temperature, but we don't want to explode this. A relatively right. safe volume of fuel mix to put into this is between 500 kilopascals and 1 megapascal. Going above 1 megapascal is risky. It has to be done for certain special things, but in the case of simple stuff like iron and steel, you won't need to. So what I would okay. typically do is turn on the increase one and then watch your chamber pressure. Should so I do that now? Yep, do that now. Do either 10 or 20 litres. And then watch your chamber pressure, which is currently at 300 kilopascals, 400, 500. You can probably turn it off now. So we're at 745 kilopascals. Then press the red button and ignite <gasps> it. And then watch the Google gauge go up. Google gauge. Now we're at one point... <laughs> Now we're at one point right, before anything bad cover. happens, what do I need to do to emergency shut this off? There's you no can't. emergency shut off. <laughs> it's if, fire. If you've, if you've ignited it and things are, and that gauge is starting to go up, start pushing the gas out of the furnace. Ah. Okay. As fast as you can. All right, so you want to smelt the iron, right? Yes. Shove some in the left. Okay, come around the front. See the LCD down the bottom? The display? Yep. You want to pull the lever when it says will produce 50 grams of ingot. If it says anything but ingot, you don't want to bring the contents out just yet. Okay. If it and says reagent, you've screwed up big time. Then yeah. it's run away and call for help. Yeah, so pull the lever for open mold. You can't mix um, different materials unless you want to make an alloy. Now, if you want to keep making stacks of 50, you can just leave that lever down while the settings are adequate for the iron. But if you, uh, but what you can do is if I pop this up so that we don't have to stack multiple stacks of 50 we can go 100 instead so if we leave it all right that's done i'll put another so stack of 50 when in. the lever is 
down, it will automatically output its yep. And when done. Okay. Yep. And that can be problematic if it's not actually at the right temperature anymore. I see. So we'll pop out 100 now. And watch the temperature and pressure as I put more of these in. You can see that the temperature is going down, but the pressure is going up. Mm-hmm. Is that correct? Yep. So whenever you are smelting ores, you produce off gases that are pollutant and other things like that. So you don't just get pure ore and like it's not just as simple as melting it down. There's rubbish that you produce and that rubbish ends up being what's sitting in the chamber once it gets cool and is why we emptied the chamber out to begin with. Okay. Does that all make some degree of sense? For right now it does. I cannot say uh, for a longer period of time, but I think I'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I I figured we, we, we give a bit of a start and then next time we can... I can get you to teach TFE while I'm helping you out, and then it'll definitely stick. Yeah, sounds about right. So there you go. Now you can smelt basic things, uh, and I can probably teach you next time how to smelt steel. <laughs> steel's quite yeah. steel's quite simple um, and quite forgiving. Its ratio is fairly easy to remember. Remember? 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 remember. Uh, because it's a ratio of three to one, so it's a bit simpler. But yeah, ah. we now have, as it looks like Nev's gotten all of the solar system fixed up again. Yep. 16 solar panels where we had nine, which is nice. We've got our big station battery. We've almost got nuclear batteries that are up to full charge, which is very nice. And Shadow, you seem to have started to produce some potatoes at a rate oh are they ready to be harvested again probably i'll go have a look because i think if we don't if they're not uh growing that quickly we might start to struggle for food but if they are we may well have things going good enough that we're not going to run out of food power or water i think they might be harvestable uh it's currently thriving toward fruiting Next time, I might actually put, like, cable sensors on so we can monitor our usage and production a bit. Okay, cool. Because right now it's a bit opaque how much we are actually con con consuming. Yeah. I, I think what I'm going to work on is trying to give us some better equipment. Focus on the equipment side of things so that our suits are actually in decent... that we're in decent suits and all that sort of stuff. Uh... But I also want to just produce a whole lot of steel so I can make a bunch of steel frames, a bunch of steel plate, and start building a proper base. Yeah, it's definitely something we can start as a group. Now that we have yeah. food hopefully growing. So yeah, next time hopefully building a base and actually feeling like we're Who getting on top of things. puts uh, water bottles in here and doesn't turn it on so it's a fill. <laughs> so there's all that and plenty more to come. And we will see you then. Catch you next time, everybody. Bye. See ya. Have a good one.